Hey everybody and welcome to the Wolf Pit. Today we're going to make tender, savory, and delicious fried cabbage. This cabbage would normally have about a half a pound of bacon in it, but today we're going to try to make it a little bit on the healthier side, so let's get started. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of olive oil to a preheated cast iron pan, and a half a stick of butter, I'm going to stir this around until the butter is melted. Once the butter is melted, I'm going to add six cloves of garlic that are sliced thin. Once the garlic becomes fragrant, I'm going to add one chopped up large yellow onion. Give this a quick stir and let it saute for about a minute. Now I'm going to add one large head of cabbage, and this is about a three pound head of cabbage. I know it looks like I put way too much in the pan, but this will cook way down. Now I'm just going to give this a stir and start getting everything into the pan and we're going to saute this for about five minutes. Once the cabbage begins to wilt, I'm going to add one tablespoon of chicken base, one cup of water, and about a teaspoon or so of red pepper chili flakes. You can use more or less if you like. And about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to give this a stir and get everything combined. And I'll come back later and add salt. I have not added any salt yet because of the salt in the chicken base. And our cabbage is cooking down nicely. This is after about 10 minutes. And you want to make sure while you're frying the cabbage, you want to do it with the lid off. Otherwise, your cabbage will be braising and you're going to end up having mushy overcooked cabbage. So the cabbage will be done when it's tender and all the water is evaporated. All right, after 20 minutes total of cooking, all our water is evaporated and our cabbage is tender. So we're going to get this plated up and give it a try and see how it turned out. Now the best thing about making cabbage at my house is I'm the only one that will eat it. So I get to have as much as I want. So I've made a big heaping bowl here. We're going to give it a taste. Wow, is that good. The cabbage is tender crisp, but it's got a buttery texture to it. The flavor is incredible. You can taste the garlic, the butter. The red pepper flakes this is absolutely fantastic thank you guys very much for watching i hope you give this a try and we'll see you next time